Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel, Let's Do Graphics and Multimedia. Uh, my name is Rolafi Yakub right here. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to know a genuine supplier on Tahoba. All you have to do is to watch this video from beginning to the end so that you're able to understand and how to identify a genuine supplier on Tahoba. Uh, but before I get to the tutorial started, if you would like to connect with me on WhatsApp, you can connect with me with the number right here and also if you want me to teach you or you want to join my paid training on how you two can be a successful procurement agent or you want to procure without using any agent you want to learn how to do everything by yourself you can connect with me uh via the same number right here on whatsapp if you would like to join my paid training on procurement and shipping and also if you would like to join check my previous tutorial about importation from china using 1688 tahoba pindodo or idle fish or some other country importation all you have to do is to make sure you visit exact graphics and multimedia then navigate to playlist right here then you can scroll down and uh, uh, right here click on importation class then you'll be able to see uh, current um, uh, previous tutorial about China importation using 1688, China importation using Tauva, uh, procurement and shipping using Pindodo, Alipay related topic, Gaget importation, uh, WeChat topic, and uh, WeChat pay related topic, and uh, uh, Indian importation, and uh, Gaget importation from US, etc. All you have to do is to click on any topic related to your importation issue and uh, you're going to learn one or two things and lastly but not the least you want me to pay your chinese supplier you want me to procure your link on 1688 tahoba or on pindodo you can as well connect with me here the same number on the screen of this video so without uh much time let's go straight into the tutorial and see how to identify a genuine supplier on tahoba so let's get started all right guys so the first thing we have to do uh, i want to believe that you have successfully installed your tahoba hub so right here, this is my tower hub. So I'm going to click on it right away. All right, guys. So this is Taba. Uh, this is my uh, Taba account. All you have to do is to, uh, you can scroll down and scroll down and see more products by different supplier. Let's uh, scroll down. So one thing you need to understand as far as uh, identification of a genuine supplier is that a genuine supplier is not identified by product picture, is not identified by product video, and is not identified by product description. So you need to bear in mind that the only way to identify a genuine supplier is to go through by what people say in the past about the particular supplier products. That is only where and how you can detect a genuine supplier so now i want to believe that everybody know uh, that this app here is written in chinese character and uh, for somebody uh a foreigner might find it difficult to understand what is written on the app in english language because of the uh language barrier so for you to translate all you have to do is to make sure that you have a dictionary installed on your phone so let me quickly Go to my phone right here and turn on the Ed Dictionary. If you don't have, this is what I mean by Ed Dictionary. It helps you to translate from Chinese character to English language. So if you don't have it on your phone, all you have to do is to head over to your Google Play Store and download Ed Dictionary. It is a free app. So when you download it, then you can come and uh, run it. So I'm going to click on it right away. So immediately you click on it, uh, it's going to load up. Never mind, this is just a pump up ad. So, so immediately you go you on it, it's going to uh, open up this way, and this is how it looks like sometimes. And uh, immediately you see I, it means that the hub is ready to work. So you can access from the hub and take it to and go back to your uh tower. So right here, this is my tower. So with the help of a dictionary, we can translate and hear what people have to say about a particular supplier. So right now, uh, sorry, this is just an ad. 
So right now, I'm going to pick on the product and uh, we're going to see the feedback and uh, what people have to say and uh, what determine uh, and that will determine the quality of the product, okay? Okay, so let's say for instance, I want to determine the genuity of this. So I want to determine the genuinely of the supplier. All you have to do is to click on the product link. So when you click on the product link, it loads up to another uh, page like this. So for you to know the genuity and of the supplier, just click on this place. So right here, you will need to uh, translate some of the character here to English language. So this is more reason why I ask you guys to download and install a dictionary. It helps you to know what's going on right here. So right now, we have to translate some information here so that we're going to be sure of what the previous buyer have to say about this particular product. You can see some of them even upload uh, the product picture when they got the product okay so uh one first thing we can just try to uh translate uh let me just take my ad dictionary to this place so we start from there so set permission so you just have to allow permission so that it's it works so uh click on here then click on okay so the ad dictionary is ready to work we can go back to the uh hub so i'm going to start from here uh, let's see what this simply means so that you guys can understand it more better sorry sorry Okay, this is just all overhaul the review and uh, right here, this one is 67 figures. These 67 figures here are the people that give about five star. Okay, now if I take my uh, additionary translate to this place, so you can see the shoes are great, comfortable, the key is good price. The guest service is also very good. The more they like the item well this time, and I like the picture. Many friends see my band shoe that I don't know, soft like that. So you can see this is a very beautiful review that gives you a kind of confidence to buy from a supplier. And these are the things that give you a confidence that this supplier are genuine supplier. So never in mind, you can click on the product picture and see. Uh, this is the this is the shoe you can see is uh, the quality as displayed. So this is just a feedback from the end user. Okay, so that's one thing you need to consider. You need to, oh, sorry. Let's go back. So let's go back. So you can scroll down and see more and more uh, from the previous buyer. Another thing you need to consider is the time and the username and the the time and the quantity bought by each of these particular buyer, so that you will know you will know that these are genuine, these are not fake reviews, these are not fake feedback. So one of the thing is that the username, right here, you can see this username here is quite different from. Let me just scroll down. So it's this the top one here is quite different from this username here. You can see. So if I scroll down and see another uh, another buyer, you can see this one also is another person entirely. So all these things are give you a kind of confidence and to 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 believe that this supplier they are genuine supplier. You can see. So that's one another thing to consider. Now for you to determine the genuity of course of uh, supplier, another thing to consider is the time interval. Look at this buyer here. If this buyer bought this product. Uh, may 28 2022 so let's take a look at when another buyer bought it so another buyer bought it june 7th 2022 so you can see that another one here 
bought it June 6, 2022. So you can see that this seller here, they make sales consistently. Okay. So these are the things that you need to take into consideration before you can determine to buy from any particular supplier on Tahoba. So if you still want to do further uh, uh, due diligence before you buy from a particular supplier, these are very much important things so that you don't have issue of what I buy versus what I get. So if you want to dip your uh, search on the background verification of the genuity of a supplier. So the, another step you, I'm going to show you guys is that you can just tap on the product picture. Just tap on the product picture. So when you tap on the product picture, then, then it open up like this. Then you can just scroll down. And scroll down. Uh, okay. So right here, uh, you can just scroll down. So you can just scroll down and scroll down. Okay. So right here, you can just click here. This simply means that I go to shop. So you are entering the shop of this uh, supplier. So you click on that. So when you enter their shop, you can just tap on the top right here. So uh, even without tapping on it, you can see the rating right here. So out of five star rating, this store here has about four star rating, which is very much still good enough for you to buy from the supplier and then very good enough for you to determine the genuity of the supplier. OK, so guys, this is how you know the genuity of a supplier before you go ahead and make a procure and purchase uh, before you can go ahead and purchase from the supplier i hope you guys learn one or two things in this video if you find follow for this video give this video a big thumb up if you have not yet subscribed to my channel remember to click on the subscribe turn on the notification bell and don't forget to share this video if you have any question for me as far as this tutorial is concerned you can put your question in a comment section down below if you would like to join my paid training on how you two can be a successful procurement agent or you want to learn how to procure by yourself without using any agent you can connect with me via the number on the screen of this video or check the description of this video to connect with me on whatsapp thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye for now